Uh, comment 1515 um, reminds me of a comment that the chief executive of the management consultancy I used to work for um, once said when a potential applicant for a job asked if he needed to know a lot of maps and he basically said you just need to know the four operations and a lot of questions that you get particularly if they're word problems and um, particularly if they're percentage problems or they're about something to do with money or something super practical like whether you're going to have enough seats in the theater for the number of tickets you're selling uh, most of the time these just basically just come down to a multiple choice out of do you add, do you subtract, do you times, or do you divide? And so with this comment, I'm basically saying that you are thinking too much. Um, if, if, you, if you really think you're stuck, um, it's because you haven't realized that it's probably just one of these four things that it's involved. Um, now, once you've decided that it's multiple choice, um, some ways to narrow it down are to look for some keywords. But even if you don't have some keywords, um, just do it by... Um, just do it by trial and error. So you got two numbers, you're not sure whether to add or subtract them. Um, just do both and see which gives you a more sensible answer. And that was probably the correct call. But as I said 30 seconds ago, there are often um, keywords that um, suggest these. Now there's the technical words. So there's some difference, product and quotient. But I mean in formal terms, like, you know, the word total usually suggests adding. Um, the phrase more than usually suggests subtraction. Um, though it could suggest adding as well, because adding and subtracting are two sides of the same um, coin. The word each usually suggests that a division has occurred. So 20 pounds, um, five people to share it with, they're going to get four pounds each. That came from um, division. Um, and um, often the word timesing is meant by something like threefold. If I say that there was a threefold increase in something, it means that it's now three times more than it was. Also to help you choose between the four operations correctly, remember the smaller and simpler strategy. Um, if you're not sure what to do um, with a particular question, just make it so the numbers are smaller. Um, think what you do um, with that, um, with that simpler problem and whatever method you use for the simpler problem. Um, is probably the one you're going to use for the actual problem. If you want more information on that, um, it's comment 1165 that tells you some more about the smaller and simpler strategy. Uh, but I think there's also a separate video on that strategy with some more detailed explanation and some beefy examples.